Hey, this is Alex with Pit Stop Auto, and today James is going to walk you through how the suction, liquid, and discharge lines work in your AC system. The first hose we will be discussing is the discharge hose, which goes from the AC compressor to the condenser. The refrigerant that is pumped from the compressor to the condenser is through this hose. This is a high pressure hose, so it's designed for a higher pressure than the suction line. If the refrigerant doesn't get to your condenser, then your AC will not work. The discharge hose is also known as a high side because it carries the high pressurized refrigerant from the high side components of the AC system to the low side components. There are a few ways to see if your hoses are damaged and need to be replaced. The three most noticeable ways to determine if your hose is damaged is if there is one, physical damage of the hose, two, leaking around the hose, or three, your AC isn't cooling. The liquid line is the next part we will be discussing. The liquid line is the only aluminum hose in the bunch and it runs from the condenser to the evaporator. As you can see, the end of the liquid line is connected to the expansion device here on the evaporator. The expansion device, or better known as the orifice tube or expansion valve, acts as a filter which you can learn more in one of our previous videos. The refrigerant is converted from a liquid line inside the condenser where you can see the other end of the liquid line connects here. The liquid line runs from the front of the engine bay to the very back of the firewall which is why the line is so long. You can see the blue port here is where you check the pressure with the manifold gauges. There is another port on the liquid line for a pressure sensor which monitors the high pressure side of the AC system and if it gets too high it will turn the compressor off. The next part we are talking about is the suction line. The larger hose is your suction line and is usually insulated. Insulating the suction line is done to prevent condensation from developing and dripping off onto the rest of your AC system. How the suction line works is the compressor sucks the refrigerant in a gas state from the evaporator through the suction line. The suction line is sometimes called the low side of the system because the PSI on this line is so much lower than the discharge hose and liquid line. For all of these reasons we mentioned above, it's important to make sure that all of your hoses don't have leaks or damage so that your AC keeps blowing cold air. For any more questions or you need to order one of these parts, give us a call at 424-625-4357 or visit pitstopauto.com.